Welcome guys, I am Parinita. Subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to receive regular notifications regarding the computer science topics and technical job updates. Hello guys, welcome to my channel to polish your CSC concepts with me. So, let's get started. In today's video, we are going to see one very important topic of artificial intelligence that is goal stack planning. Now, you must have heard about a very common problem of artificial intelligence that is block world problem. In order to solve the block world problem, mostly we are using this goal stack planning. So, in this particular video, what we are going to do is, we will be seeing what is goal stack planning, what are the main steps or main functions applied under this goal stack planning we will be seeing their preconditions their actions how they are working and at the end we will also see with the help of an example that how we can solve any block wall problem with the help of goal stack planning fine so we will be seeing all these important things in this particular video so let's start um, goal stack planning so as the name itself indicates here we will be using stack we will be using we will be having the start state and one goal state our aim will be to achieve our goal state step by step using one stack you must be knowing what is stack stack is a data structure that uses last in first out fine so we will be dealing with stack here and the main four functions of this goal stack planning are pick up put down stack and unstack with the help of these four functions we have to deal with the problems so first we need to understand that what these four functions are so let's start one by one the main four functions are pick up put down stack and unstack now we can categorize them into two see let's try to understand these four functions with the help of this figure here in the figure what i have shown is for example there is a table and in that uh, on the, this table one we are having one block b that has been put directly on the table and on the other side we are having one block y on the table and above y we are having one block x so this is the figure that we are having and now we want to apply these functions into this block the blocks that is arranged now we will see that how to apply them so what happens here that one table is there above table we are having three blocks and apart from that we are having one arm see one arm this kind of one arm is given to us what is the use of this arm that with the help of these this arm we can hold any block and uh, we can pick it up fine so this arm is basically used to pick up or uh, put down any block fine so this is the basic now first let's start now as i was telling we can categorize these four functions into two categories pick up and put down these two are of kind of different category because pick up of x see these parameters x uh, here x parameter in these two and here x comma y parameter in these two the parameters suggest that they are the block for example here we are to, uh, to, here we are applying this pick up function on the block x here we will be applying the stack function on x comma y fine so these are the blocks so pick up and put down will be categorized into the same category because pick up of x and put down of x pick up and put down these two functions will always be applied on the block x when the block x is put directly on the table for example if you see in the figure here directly on the table b block is there so we can apply this b block so we can apply pick up and put down on this b block but on the other hand pick up and put down cannot be applied on this x block because x is not put directly on the table so pick up and put down is possible only if the block is situated directly on the table whereas stack and unstack these two functions are applied whenever this x y are uh, put on one another like for example as shown here uh, y block is there on the table and on the y block x block is situated so here in this uh, in this way how x and y are arranged here stack of x y and unstack of x y can be applied fine so this is the main difference between these two now let's see one by one pick up of x if we want see uh, now how to remember that what they are doing so uh, you can remember that they are you can simply 
see what their meaning is they simply act as their meaning in the english language first of all we are having pick up of x now what do we know, mean by pick up we want to pick it up similarly pick up of x means we want to pick up the x block simple so whenever we want to pick up x block now in order to pick up as i have told you in order to pick up or put down any block we will be using this arm so pick up of x says that i want to pick the x block with the help of arm fine so what should be the preconditions means if these conditions are true then and only then i can pick up x block so precondition is arm should be empty obviously because if i want to pick the x block with arm my arm should be empty initially so precondition first is arm should be empty second is on x comma table because as i as i told you pick up and put down is possible on any, any block if the block is situated on the table so second condition is on x comma table that means x should be situated on the table third one is clear x clear x means uh, on table x should be there and above x or on x there should not be any other block means x should be clear there should not be anything on x so clear x because if there is nothing on x then and only then we can um, pick up this x block so clear x means there should not be any other block on x so x should be empty x should be clear means there should not be any block above it so clear x these are the three preconditions now once i pick up this x block with the help of arm so what is the action means once pick up x is done so the action is holding x because once i have picked up this x with the help of arm the action is i my arm will be holding this x block so action is holding x fine i hope you have understood this once you have understood these functions what they are doing uh, you can understand remaining also very easily and the second one is put down x so as the name itself indicates put down i want to put down x i want to put down the x block into the table on the table so the precondition is holding of x obviously if i want to put down the x block on the table the precondition is my arm should be holding this x block so precondition is holding x now once i put down this x block on the table like this what should be the action first action is arm empty because i have put down the x block from arm to the table so now my arm is empty the second one is on x comma table because i have put the x on table so now where my x is it is on table so on x comma table and the third one is clear x because i have put x just now so obviously there there is no block above x so clear x there is nothing above x so clear x and the third one is stack x comma y now what do we mean by stack x comma y that uh, like this this is called x comma y that means what y block is already there on the table and stack x comma y what this function wants to do this function wants to put the block x on the block y fine this is what stack x y means so what the precondition should be precondition is holding x because obviously i want to put this x block on the y block with the help of arm so the precondition is my arm should be holding x so first of all holding x is one precondition the second precondition is clear y that currently there should be no block above y block because then and only then i can put my x block on the y block so y should be clear for now so the second precondition is clear y okay now if i talk about action once i have put my x block on the y block now the action is on x y now my x will be on y so on x comma y will be true clear x because just now i have put the x block on the y block so obviously there is no block above x block and so my x is clear so clear x and arm is empty because i have put the x from my arm to the x to the y block and so currently my arm is empty now so arm empty now the fourth one is unstack x comma y now as the aim itself as the name indicates unstack x comma y means it is just the opposite of x stack x comma y so what happens in unstack x comma y that already x block is situated on y block but now in unstack x y what we want to do is we want to remove the x block from the y block we will take away x block from the top of y block and we will keep it separately so the precondition is on x comma y because 
now x should be on y then and only then we can unstack it so on x comma y the second one is clear x means there should be no block above x block then and only then we can remove the x block third one is arm empty because once the arm is empty then and only then i can hold this x block and remove it so arm should be empty these are the preconditions now once i do unstack x y what my actions will be first one is holding x because i am taking x away from y so my arm will be holding this x block so holding x and the second one is clear y because i have taken this x block from the top of the y block and so now there is nothing on the top of the y block so currently y block is clear clear of y so these are the preconditions and the actions of this four main functions of goal stack planning fine now if we are given any now let's see how to solve any block wall problem with the help of this goal stack planning for example uh, this is an example given to us where the start state is given to us like this on one table a block and b block two blocks are there this is my start state and goal state is i want to uh, bring this a block on b block and this b block will be on table fine this is my goal start state given this is my goal state given we have to show that how we can achieve goal state from the start state with the help of goal stack planning this is actually a very important and interesting problem of artificial intelligence so how can we do that first of all um and let's write the start state and goal state logically Lo uh, logically how can i write my start state i want to write it in words or in logical way so start state is what on my table there is a block and on my table there is b block so i can write it as on a comma table and on b comma table i have simply represented this start state into words similarly i can write my goal state as in goal state what is there in goal state the block a is situated on block b so how i can write it on a comma b so what is my first state in my first step my first step is i have represented this goal state and start state into the logical words fine so i have done this thing now second state is um, the second step is i simply want to achieve this goal state so what i want to achieve on a comma b i want to achieve this one now in order to achieve this one as i told in this block wall problem uh, to solve this block wall problem i will be using goal state planning functions now first of all on a comma b so if i want to have this on a comma b what do we mean by on a comma b that means on b a block will be there on b block a block will be there so which of these functions is helping us to do this Uh, pick up no pick up means just picking up putting put down means just putting down but stack x y yes stack x y allows me to put this x block on the y block so if i want to achieve on a comma b i have to apply this function stack a comma b getting so this is my first goal stack planning function that i will be using now when i can apply this stack a comma b whenever the the preconditions of this function satisfies so which are the preconditions preconditions are holding x and clear y i have to check it with my uh, current state that current state or start state that either these two functions either these two preconditions are holding true or not first of all holding x if i see here in my start state arm is there but arm is not holding anything right holding x is my arm holding x no so this condition is false clear y uh, okay uh, instead of x and y a and b will be there in my case a and b so clear b b is clear yes um, on the b block there is no other block so clear b is true so this condition is true i don't have to deal with it anymore but this condition is false so holding a is false so how i can make it true uh holding a means what i want my arm to hold a now which function is allowing me to do that pick up pick up of x means i uh, pick up of x means my arm is going to pick up x so here i want to 
हेयर आई वॉन्ट माई आर्म टू होल्ड ए सो आई कैन यूज द फंक्शन पिकअप ऑफ ए I am using this function pickup of a. Now, how I can use it? Only when these three preconditions are satisfied. So let's check the three conditions are arm empty, on x comma table, and the third condition is clear x. These are the three conditions. Let me check if these three conditions are satisfying with the start state or not. First of all, arm empty. Is the arm empty in my start state? Yes. So this is satisfied. on x comma table instead of x a will be there so on a comma table yes on my table a block is there so this is satisfied clear a yes uh, above the block a there is no other block so clear a is also satisfied now these three preconditions are satisfied that means i can do pick up of a now when as soon as i am doing pick up of a holding a becomes true now once these two preconditions are true i can do this function i can call this function stack of a and b and as soon as i am successfully doing stack of a comma b what it will do it will arrange uh, block a on block b that means i will get this on ab that means i will get my goal state this was my goal state that i wanted to achieve so these are the series of steps these are the series of steps that we are applying in order to reach from start state to goal state this is how we are using goal stack planning to achieve block wall problem i hope i was successfully able to make you understand everything about goal stack planning and block wall problem in case you like the video please like it and uh, let me know in the comment section share with your friends subscribe the channel and in case you have any problem or any doubt regarding this topic you can always ask in the comment section thank you so much